So have you ever wondered if there definitely is an app for that? Your nerdy best friend, Beth Z, has the answer. Since her first Motorola Razor flip phone, Beth has made a verb out of the word nerd. She's here to help you filter through thousands of apps, gadgets, widgets, doodads to find the perfect free and bargain technology tools for work and home. She's written multiple books on apps and has spoken to about 100,000 people, and 99.9% .9 of them cannot pronounce her name. And as you noticed, I avoided that as well. Please join me in welcoming the chick who spent recess in middle school grading papers for her teachers, your nerdy best friend, Beth Z. Yay! Oh my gosh, thank you so much. On behalf of Growth Zone, we are so excited about today. Now, this is actually the very first time I have presented this program. Whoop, let me see. See? Uh, this is all the tech you missed this year. And y'all, you won't believe all the things. Now, uh, I know some of you found the chat, but I need help. I need your help. Please go back to the chat please, please, and get ready to write. Because I don't know if you know this, but I'm a tech speaker, and I don't know if you know this, but technology goes wrong. <laughs> and so uh, sometimes in this presentation, something might not work. So I want you to promise that no matter what happens, you're with me. If you can put in the chat, just say, I'm with you and we'll pretend that the tech is working perfectly. Are you with me? Oh, look at that. Look at all those people with me. The rest of you who aren't typing, I'm sorry for what might happen. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. We're excited to be here and let's get started. Let's see, I am going to come here. I've got all kinds of things for y'all today, but let's start out with this wonderful, wonderful slide. This wonderful slide tells us how to get the handouts. I want you to scan that QR code, scan that QR code or, and or text the word nerd to 66866. If you scan the code, it'll automatically put it into your phone. So that is where the handouts are. Yes, you are signing up for my newsletter. Yes, I have permission to do that because Growth Zone is very generous. And if you want to unsubscribe, fine. If you want to lie to me, fine. And tell me a fake email, fine. That's fine. I'm in therapy for rejection. It's okay. But I want you to have the handouts and I put some bonus stuff in there. So text the word nerd to 66866. There we go. That's all we need to know about that. And now I am going to start with with here we go there i am yeah hop oh. y'all i told you i warned you that i would push the wrong button and i did all right here we are anyway we've got six areas of things that have happened this year that you should know about and some of these things have changed everything first one let's go with something fun be real now in the chat tell me how many of y'all have heard of be real if you're over the age of 30 you may not be using it has anybody been using it heard of it nope 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 yep you've heard it oh there we go i saw one i use it i use it a couple of people my daughter uses it there we go uh so it is a social media platform and it kind of snuck up out of nowhere. Apple just this week named it the app of the year and the Google Play Store named it the, the people's choice app of the year. Here's what it does. Be Real is kind of what happens when Gen Z and Gen X get tired, younger Gen X get tired of the fakeness of Instagram. They're like, you know, none of this stuff is what's really happening in people's lives. It's all filtered and things like that. And be real. Oh, there's a, a Saturday Night Live skit. I got to watch that later. Um, be real is, is kind of the antithesis. So I'm going to show you my be real. Let me open up here. 
then maybe it's time to be real and then we'll get nope it's not time to be real um here is my be real the app does a very simple thing every in every 24 hour period more or less you get a notification that says within two minutes within two minutes i want you to share a picture and when you share that picture it captures the front camera and the back camera so it's exactly what you're doing there are no filters there's nothing it's exactly what you're doing at that time so this is my phone this is my be real now yesterday oh my gosh i'm sorry about the face just no makeup whatsoever i was being real yesterday this is what happened this is my be real i was uh, we live in the country, we have some stray cats, we feed outside, and this one we call Phantom because it's got kind of half of the face Phantom of the opera and it disappears very quickly. And I was finally getting close to Phantom, finally getting uh, up front, and then another cat uh, came and chased it away. But I was approaching Phantom and I took the picture, so that is the back camera and the front camera at the same time, and that's how it works. And then you post it. You don't get to put a filter and you don't get to put uh, extra special effects and you don't get to put music. It's just where you are. Secret, you can actually retake it, but it'll tell your friends that you retook it. None of my friends really care. When you do your 24 hour thing, you get to see your friends 24 hour things. Now, I don't have a lot of friends on here. I just did it for fun and trying to get people to um to see what it was like so uh here's somebody who's just rolling down the road hit the button on the be real and then hey mimi brown uh if y'all don't know mimi brown she's a fantastic speaker she is getting ready to do a presentation here's rob foray he's another fantastic speaker and he's uh staring into the void of emails if you look here i saw a great question from rachel and i'll get to that in just a second if you look here with the little um it's got these little emojis down at the bottom they're very hard to see they're small on yours but instead of emojis like like uh little ones that are already the, the yellow faces um you do your own so uh, that's me with a like that y'all i haven't done very many because every time i go to do it i have a horrible makeup face non-makeup face bad hair and i haven't done them but you record your own emojis so that when you want to do a reaction you can do a reaction so if i wanted to do a laughing reaction oh i'm cute today <laughs> what's this ah so it's called a real emoji continue and i could put that up there so now that's my real emoji and i can do a reaction quick and easy and fun i have had so much fun doing these how can associations use this how can chambers use this well uh there's also an open feed by the way where <laughs> colin says you this sounds awful it's actually fun because it's a small group of people and you're only following a few people at a time you're only connecting with a few people now you can see my memories here's one of me in a hotel room uh working and watching tv um here's one of me looking at my husband with a cat on his back so let's talk for a second how can associations and chamber use this so let me talk about brands and how they're trying to do it first. Chipotle is one of the first ones. And Chipotle went to New York, uh, New York Times Square, sent a whole bunch of interns there, y'all, and had them wait until the random time that Be Real came on and asked for your two minutes. Be Real could come on right now during the session. I better uh, make sure it doesn't make a noise. It could come on right now and tell me to um, do a Be Real because it's completely random and all your people in your group have the same be real time. And again, if you don't do one, you can't see what everybody else is doing. It's very, 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 very specific. Uh, so let's talk about what Chipotle did. They sent a whole bunch of interns there to hang out until their two minutes came up. Mm -hmm. Kind of weird. How can Chambers use this? Well, how about having a kind of gallery you have an event uh, associations chambers whatever 
You have people who are using Be Real. Again, it was the most popular app in the app stores for multiple months. Okay, if not for a full year, it was number one on things. So tons of people are using these. And I bet your younger members, if you've got young people's groups, you've got some people in there who are using them. How about having a little competition during your event, you know, or um, having people submit? Because you can see, like, I can't save unless I do a screenshot. I can't save other people's be reels, but I can save mine and I have mine and I can do a screenshot of theirs. So what if you had that kind of competition? What if your association or your chamber went through one week where they you're, you signed up kind of as a brand and did that? So it this session is all about the, the top technology of 2022. And I want you to be aware of this because there's kind of a backlash against inauthenticity Hashtag Twitter right now, what is happening? There's a backlash uh, against inauthenticity. There's a backlash against uh, traditional right now. And you can use Be Real to make that different kind of connection. And even if you don't use it, you need to understand that it's out there and need to be able to be, speak the lingo. So I love Nate just says, I use it more for events and talk about organization events, not in the office space. Excellent, excellent. Kiki talked about uh, no sensitive information. It's a very private thing. It's a small community. It's like Snapchat was kind of where it's just your friends. You're limiting it and you're not putting it out there to everybody. So I would love to see if anybody else uh, brainstorm for half a second and everybody share one in every four people. I don't want to put too much pressure. Mm. Share how you might use it or what you've seen other people use it for. It's not as much commercial, but I need you to know about it because it is one of the top things that's going on. All right, let's go back to number two. Can you log in and turn it off so it doesn't give you constant reminders? The constant reminders are the thing. Can you do multiple groups? You can, uh, maybe, I don't think so. You can't group them up. It's just kind of yes or no with your friends but you can have there are some people who do public ones and you can follow those i love it y'all discuss them there are all kinds of things that you can do even if you just played around with it so that your members y'all know that your members want to be in the know and they've heard of this thing and they don't know what it is so maybe do a demo for a week with the staff to show them what it is and you'll be the hero all right <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. Uh, I'm about to blow your minds. All right. We are about to get real. Why is my face not there? Y'all see my face? Except for the face that's going there. Let me check something out here because it seems to be annoying. Don't worry. I'm a professional. Uh -huh, overlay, screen share. Oh, hi, there I am. Ah. Yeah. I tell you what, I've already made, uh, a, I've already had a couple of tech snafus. So guess what? At the end of this, we're going to give away, or I'm just going to give it to Amy. Amy, pick randomly three people from the attendees today, and I will send y'all a new, a copy of my newest book. How's that? To make up for these things. Everybody gonna not put this on their evaluation? Woohoo! Natalie says oh, only three. Yeah, I'm sorry. Cost money. All right, so hope you win. I'm about to change your world. If you haven't heard about AI writing tools, you are missing out. I was talking to Amy before this and I was telling her all the things that are happening and it's it's beyond comprehension so amy and i amy i'm going to bring you back to the screen could you put your uh, face on there beautiful and i'm going to add you as a spotlight there we are y'all make sure your your uh your zooms are zoomed up as big as possible so that you can see everything that's going on the screen and i asked amy to be a guinea pig for me here because 
This is such a cool tool. Uh, Amy, actually, um, hold on just a second. I'm going to uh, do that because I want to show y'all a little sample of what I'm talking about. So this is something that I made very recently. Ready? All right. It should be this one. Go. Twas the end of November, and planners were seeking next year's keynoter to wow with their speaking. The planners were searching just so they could hire the perfect expert to set their events on fire. And then an idea set their event plans aglow. A speaker was found. Was Beth Z with her show? She brought all new tech with new formats and programs, such as ways to use apps to be safe and avoid scams. She shared simple tech tricks to improve people's lives. And in the post-event surveys, Beth Z got all fives. With tech tools so timely and relevant trends, she truly became everyone's nerdy best friend. So if you're an event pro in need of a guest, Beth Z is the answer to your keynote quest. She'll bring innovation and energy with cheer. Your event will be so good, it'll advance your career. Hope to see you in 2023. All right, yep, I know that was silly. I think that was ridiculous, but it was so much fun. And let me show you how I made it. And then we're going to have our wonderful example. All right, so here is the magic tool. This is one of the magic tools. This is called Jasper. Jasper is an artificial intelligence writing tool. And here is how, now I wanted to do a little poem for the night before Christmas. I actually started out as like doing a parody of Jingle Bells, but I didn't want to sing. I thought nobody would hire me after that. So I said, okay, twas the night before Christmas. This is what I wrote. I wrote event planners should talk to Beth Z about speaking at their events in 2023 because she has new stuff. And then I said, tone of voice Christmas. And then I said, keywords, your nerdy best friend. And then I wrote this sentence, write a poem based on twas the night before Christmas. And then I did the command key for this. Jasper says, was the night before Christmas and all through the house, technology was buzzing from a mouse to a router. Hmm. Uh, the laptops were all plugged in and charging with care in hopes that your nerdy best friend soon would be there. The children are nestled all snug in their beds while visions of code danced in their heads. Let me keep composing. And mom and her kerchief and I and my cap had just settled down for a tech-filled long nap. All right, so I did this several times, but what should I, wondering I should appear, but your nerdy best friend, Beth Z and eight coding reindeer. <laughs> I did this several times and I came up with stuff that I was able to, oh, her, her dimples, how merry, I don't even have dimples on my face, y'all. Cheeks were like roses, that's because of the eggnog. Um, very quickly, I was able to make a poem. Now, now HTML, now CSS, now XML <laughs> query. Uh, so that was one. Here are some others. And I played around with all kinds of these. I did a bunch of them and took the best of each one. It is that easy to write. This is called the GPT-3 natural uh, NL NLPs, natural learning platform, natural language platforms, uh, NLPs, GPT-3. These are some of the buzzwords around this, and this is exploding. And I'm going to let you all play with it in just a minute, but let's look at our friend's growth zone. So let's bring back, let's see, I'm going to bring you back here. Actually, I'm going to, can y'all see her up there? Um, can you see her face up there? Okay, we're gonna keep you small just so that people can read the screen, if that's okay. But unmute yourself. Hello. 
There we go. Uh, <laughs> and y'all, uh, let's give a big hand in the chat for Growth Zone. I mean, they give us these wonderful webinars. Uh, I've been doing them for several years and um, they're always great value. You can't see her now. She's gone. Uh, That's okay. <laughs> voice is there. You saw her earlier. Uh, I just want her to be a part of this. So she's going to be here. Thank you to Grow Zone and thank you so much, Amy, for inviting me here today. But let's take a look at this. I'm going to bump it up a little bit so that we can see it pretty well. Um, and, and Amy and I put this information in here before. Again, this is Jasper. There are tons of companies like this and there are some free ones. Uh, but Jasper is by far, by far the most advanced. They've been at the very beginning. Uh, I actually went to their headquarters and interviewed them for quite some time about what was going on with this, which was crazy. So how many of y'all are association members in the house, right? Our chamber members, put chamber or association in the chat so that we can, we can check things out and see who all's here. Chamber people, association people, welcome. And Growth Zone is a great solution for both. But I asked Amy if she wanted to send a note to people and get people excited about Growth Zone Association Solutions, what would she say? And she says they let associations save time and money and staff resources. Amy, uh, could you just tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. Um, as many of you probably know, you can use Growth Zone Solutions to uh, do some automated marketing. We can help you with your website. We do integrated accounting solutions for uh, you know, credit card payments online, um, event management. We can do your uh, registration, your you know, forms, all of those fun things. And um, everyone seems to find a different benefit of Growth Zone for their personal solutions. So if you have a concern, we are happy to help you out and give you a personalized tour of our solution. Yes, get a demo. All right, so she gave me this little description. This is all we put in, all right? And we're gonna write what's called an ADA. It's uh, the oldest marketing framework in the world. I had no idea about this until I started doing this. Attention, interest, desire, and action. So it breaks it down to give you a compelling argument. Y'all can use for this for your events. You can use this for a new products you have, your membership, what have you. We're gonna show you what Growth Zone's all about. So I said, the company product name is Growth Zone Association Solutions. Here's a brief description and tone of voice compelling. That's what uh, the tone of voice is. We're gonna play with that in just a minute. And I'm gonna click generate. Now what it's gonna do is use billions of words. It absorbed like 10 or 15% of the internet and found out all the ways that people write and it creates unique copy, not copyrighted copy, unique copy every time. Struggling to keep track of all your members and their information? Growth Zone has the solution. We're an all-in-one platform for managing your members and their data. You can easily keep track of dues, events, and more. Plus our integrated accounting makes it easy to keep track of finances. Sign up for a demo. Request a demo now. Stop wasting time and money trying to manage everything separately. Struggling to keep up with demands of members and association management? This is three versions in second. You'll be able to see just how much time and money we will save you. Sign up for a free trial. <laughs> there is no free trial. Uh -oh. um, sometimes it lies. That is a big drawback. It just makes stuff up. It'll make up a website for you and a 1-800 number. I did it for a bio of mine. It gave me a Pulitzer, y'all. I mean, these are good books and I expect to have a Pulitzer someday, but not now because it lies. Uh, three versions, very fast, free demo today. This one um, didn't say the, uh, <laughs> the, the free uh, trial, but let's try a tone of voice. Let's go um, Oprah. All right, let's see what this does. Now, sometimes it does, there's a big difference you can see and sometimes there's not. So let's see what we got. Or you're an association manager who is tired of hassling and man, you can imagine her saying that. Growth Zone can help you. It's the only one, you won't regret it. Click this ad now to sign up for a free demo. Do you feel like you're doing it all yourself? All right, so all kinds of different facts. They pull up different facts here and they still wanna give you a free trial. Oprah wants to give you a free trial. Now, I, I like doing this too, sarcastic. All right, 
and generate. I want you to keep thinking about the fact that this is immediate. This is happening in real time. Oh, we didn't record this or practice this. Uh, we're an all in one platform. Uh, stop wasting time and money. Uh, it's not as sarcastic as you trying to piece together everything. Not as sarcastic as you think. Okay, sometimes it's more sarcastic than others. You should have seen what it did when uh, there was a, a live auction one time and uh, some of the things you could win was uh, a trip to Denton, Texas was one of them, which is lovely. I went to school there or a trip to the Bahamas. Those were two of the trips. And so it, it kind of had fun with that. All kinds of tones of voice you can do excited. You can do Tony Stark from Iron Man. You could do uh, anything with a strong voice, Dr. Seuss, all kinds of different things you can do. This is one template. Template, what I showed you before was the command side of things, which sometimes is hard, harder than you think. So I like using the template still. Content summarizer, you got a bunch of stuff you need to digest, throw it in the content summarizer. When it says boss mode, that's the big, uh, I, that's the level I have. It's the um, highest tier and that's where you get the command stuff. But the thing I just showed you with Ada, which is what I use most of the time, is in the $29 version. Review responder, you ever have that chamber member who writes you about the coldness of the last event and how cold it was in that room and how she would have preferred brownies over cookies and you want to write her back and say <clears throat> Karen uh, let's talk about that but you can put their comments into here and then spit out an appropriate response uh, it says on Amazon product description and things like that but that's great for your event product descriptions this one we're going to talk about in just a second uh the the art kind of things blog post intro paragraph watch this somebody throw a uh this is a brand new one look at all these these are different templates somebody throw into the chat a blog post that you might need to write an entire blog like I need to write a blog post on this. All right, new forms coming in January. Ways to support your community this Christmas. I love that. Uh, let's see, six ways coaching can help horsewomen. Uh, teaching science in preschool. I'm looking for some ideas that I think will come here. 10 things to do in uh, Clear Lake, Iowa this winter. I'm gonna, I, I might try that one because I, I'm interested to see. Oh, there we go. Top reasons to stay active in the chamber with your business. I like that. Top reasons to stay active in the chamber of commerce to promote your business. All right, I'll do small business there. I'll do tone of voice. Let's go um, engaging, excited. And intended audience, small business owners, right? All right, there we go. And I'm gonna generate. Again, this is real time. This is like improv, right? Give me a topic, give me a scene. All right, it takes a couple of minutes because it's actually generating an entire blog post. So as soon as this shows up. Leveraging the Chamber of Commerce to boost your small business. Joining a chamber is an invaluable tool for those looking to uh, promote it. By joining, you can quickly and easily create relationships with other businesses in your areas. Network with other local businesses. Take advantage of member discounts. Connect with your community. Uh, staying active is one of the most effective ways. How to use the Chamber of Commerce to promote it. Are you a small business looking for a way to get the word out? Uh, three different angles of a blog post, right? The first one is benefits to you. The second one is 
benefits to your promotion and then unlocking uh, the benefits, uh, networking. That was a little bit kind of a blend of the two. How many seconds was that? It wasn't in the, even enough, long enough for y'all to check Facebook while I was speaking, right? It's right there. All right. I know you are absolutely excited to try this. Um, chat GPT, you might have even heard about this, was released about a week and a half ago, and it lets you try it. So I am going to, I'm going to uh, create, I'll copy the link and put it in the chat. Go to the chat. It's uh, chat.openai.com slash chat. Oh, Cindy, that's funny. It's like auto-tune for the pen. <laughs> I want you to come here. This is chat GPT, and we can do the same kind of thing. It says an error. It could be an error because uh, it there are so many news articles about it right now that a lot of people requires re creating an account. You can create an account. I think you can log in with, uh, with Gmail. It, doesn't have to, um, it's not going to ask for money. This is all free right now. It's fantastic though. Fantastic and fast. All right. Copyright situation with this. Let's talk about the copyright situation. It's not plagiarism. It is creating unique copy every single time. It is not plagiarism. Some of y'all, if you want to go ahead and sign up, you can do it. I thought it was open. I didn't know that I'm already signed up, so I didn't think that you had to do it, but apparently you do. But this one will let you do something like, um, write up a three bullet points about the benefits of association membership for young professionals. Write three blog ideas or video three YouTube video ideas about the benefits so that if you're trying to do that uh, and here we go. My session expired. That's awesome. All right. Ah, remember when I told you you needed to pretend that this is working? Now's the time. So it is brand new. Y'all, it's been going up and down quite a bit because of the amount of traffic. So uh, it's not a surprise to me that it's it's kind of tough all right somebody put your website down on in the chat i want to try something real quick all right neo neo uh, oh they're going so fast clearlakearea.com ah that one i got all right all right this is beautiful let me see if i can see a picture here all right you see this picture right here um, oh, it was books. That's a, let's see. Let's see if I can find some pictures. Chamber blog. Oh, how funny. The pictures aren't coming in. All right. I just want a quick picture of something. I am not having any luck. Let's do a holiday picture, right? So I'm going to say a penguin, let's see, a polar bear decorating a Christmas tree. Sorry, I'm not trying to be uh, uninclusive, but I'm gonna do that real quick because it'll make a good image. In the snow illustration, All right, colors. All right, and I'm gonna generate. Now it's taking a second to generate it. 
But this was a fortune-telling Shiba Inu reading. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, hello. Is that exactly what I asked it to do? It is exactly what I asked it to do. How many of y'all have spent, I don't know, hours looking for the perfect picture of the perfect Christmas ornament with the bouquet or whatever in the back? Yeah. Are these free images? Yes. Some. Uh, they're just now starting to charge some, uh, several of them are just now starting to charge some fees for credits. Like I bought a bunch of credits with these. These are unique. They are not copyrighted. They are not, they are yours. This is separate, but it's the same. This is separate from chat GPT, but it's the same neural language processing platform. It's that it understands words. Some of it's the words are being used to write words and some of the knowledge is being used to paint pictures. Some of it is being used to do coding. Nowadays with this tool, you can write what you want an app to do and it codes for you. That's where we are with these kind of things. A lot of photo generation steal art from creators. Has that been brought up with uh, Dali? A hundred percent it has been brought up with Dali and every single one. There are several different types. In your handouts, again, uh, text the word nerd to 66866. In your handouts, I have lots, lots of different resources of these. All of them are talking about the problems with the, um, the copyright problems. It's a huge problem. I could do, instead of illustration style, I could do Andy Warhol or Ansel Adams. How do you spell it? A-N-S-E-L-A-D-A-N-S, -E right? Ansel Adams style. Is that Ansel Adams? Yeah. That's how you spell it. All right. This is a photo of a white fur monster standing in a purple room. Oh, I love that one. Our images are being painted or selected from collections. This is, all, this is all original. Are these capabilities included within growth zone? Probably not yet. This is all in the marketing area, probably mainly soon, but you know where they are included? Canva. Where are my Canva fans? Where are my Canva fans? Canva is fantastic. Let me, let me just go to one that I've been playing with here, Facebook post. Inside Canva, they have put this. So down in Canva, you can scroll to, um, it says text to image. You may have to add it in the more section. And let's go back, I'll get the same prompt. I'll get the same prompt. Control copy, and then I'll come over here to Canva. It is included and it is free. Here we go, and I'm going to generate image. This was, sometimes they're really disturbing. Like this, I, I was speaking for some teachers yes, uh, this week, and some guy was totally obsessed with possums, and he kept trying to get a possum here. He got a bunch of possums in, um, in here. He was all excited about these possums. He's a teacher, I guess, he, like this possum, I think he downloaded quite disturbing to me. This possum he loved. No, just no. But he, he made like 75 possum pictures on my account because he was playing around with it. But let me go back to Canva. It's not as much Ansel Adams style as the other one was, but that's it. That's all I got to do. Ta-da. There's my polar bear. Now it didn't do the Christmas because probably because I had Ansel Adams style in there and I don't think he focused on Christmas, but I can put the description up there and then I can do like uh, 3D, generate an image. And again, this is all built into Canva and it's free for pros. I think it might be free for regular, but y'all, if you are not upgraded on Canva, I don't even want to talk to you. Canva is one of the best resources, hundreds of thousands, millions, of upgraded stock images. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look. Look. Seconds. There we go. So that is the art selection. Now, let me come back to here. There I am. All right. So Jasper was that. Dolly was the other one I showed you with 
the um, image thing. Now, y'all probably all want to play with this one. I that I can do. This one does not make you register. Wombo, which is ridiculous. Wombo is insane. Wombo got uh, the app of the year from Google. It was Google's app of the year. The other one was um, Google's app of the year and the other one was uh, the people's choice. So be real was the people's choice, but Google app of the year was that. So let me come back here to my, <laughs> he did synth wave. All right, let's see. I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to copy and paste and let's go to Wombo. Wombo is not quite as good, but I'm going to paste the same thing in there. All right. And then it makes me pick another style. So I'm going to click no style since I have the style in the description. We'll see what happens. It's hey, not Beth, quite we good. still see the we still see the okay now we see your screen oh now <laughs> y'all want me to to uh make it so you can see stuff come on <laughs> sorry to interrupt come you come on all right so uh did everybody go to that link i put it in the chat let me try this one again i will do a realistic i will do a retro futurism as the style if you do people's faces, you may not be able to sleep at night. They really can mess up the faces. So I just messed up on the screen and I didn't show you what I needed to show you. So could that be four books giveaways so that you don't uh, put it on the evaluation? <laughs> four books giveaways. All right, so it is putting it in here. Are y'all playing with it right now? It is so much fun to play with. Some of these might take a while. Some of these are, you know, a little hard to play with. Like I said, Dream by Wombo is not the best one, but it's pretty good. Oh, look how cute. It's building it right in front of us. I don't see the polar bear. Where's my polar bear? Well, he's hidden in the snow, uh, but it's a very pretty picture. Seconds, seconds. Now, one of the things that's the challenge with all of these tools that I'm talking about, the writing tools and the art tools, is understanding how to build the prompts to get what you want. So several sites, and again, these are in your handouts. I put these all in there. Several sites now help you create it. So base prompt, start with your main subject. So let's say a polar bear. And then it says, uh, add an action. Oh, <clears throat> how much is my book? Uh, hmm, what a wonderful question. They're on Amazon for uh, $18.99, I think. The latest one is Nerd365. And um, if you want bulk, they're super cheap. Let me know. It's pretty much name your own price. I'm not kidding. So magic actions i'm going to do magic actions like uh jumping through a portal so it's giving me it's walking me through some scenarios and um let's see and i uh, will do another action uh normal actions we'll do falling down a, doing a cartwheel jumping through a portal doing a cartwheel final prompt all right, and then it will, it gives you more information. This one is called AI Text Prompt Generator. You don't have to worry about this because it's all in your handouts. Oh, hey, Alan, how are you? Uh, it's all in your handouts. Alan bought two of my books. I'm just saying I like him the best. Um, it's all in the handouts, so you don't have to worry about that. Let me go back to here and see what this prompt does. But getting the prompts right is very important. So there are several prompt builders that you can, you can work with to make sure that you can get the right prompt. Y'all, I have done and can do hands-on workshops with this, the AI GPT-3 stuff. I'm going to have to go on to three more areas of crazy tech. Otherwise, this is just a hands-on AI class. So 
Uh, I hope you created some fun stuff. Please share them and tag Growth Zone and me if you created some fun stuff with Wombo or with your writing or what have you. All right, all right. Cool, realistic, uh, cool dinosaur at sunset realistic. That is awesome. Let's see. We got Dolly. Well, now we have passkeys. The next category of things that you might have missed in 2022 and that you're going to need for 2023 is passkeys. Now, this actually started in 2021. In December of 2021, Apple, Microsoft, and Google signed an agreement that they would start using passkeys to help us get rid of passwords. Now, passkeys use some kind of other identification rather than passwords. And I think it's critical that we start making that transitions, but it's gonna be a while because very few in, in, in the whole list of things that we sign up for, I think a lot of people, uh, the average is like over 90 things, places were registered. And um, let, me, let me be serious for a second. Write this down, write this down, I want you to, in 2023, make sure you have a unique, unguessable password for every single place you register. You cannot reuse passwords anymore. Write this down. This is the most important thing I'm going to tell you besides how to make a polar bear picture. Write this down. Uh, I really like the, the conversations that's going on about uh, AI writing, making writers disappear. Um, it's here. We have to deal with it. I had a long discussion with some teachers after the session this week about, you know, how they're concerned that students are going to use it. They're using it. It's here. It's here right now. It can write entire essays for you. You need to accept that and move on. What, how it helps me the best is to give me, I consider it a junior copywriter, right? It gives me what I need. It punches out words and it makes it so I have something to work with and make my own. Another way I use it frequently is uh, like I was, I had an engagement in Punta Cana, by the way, if you would like for me to have another engagement in Punta Cana, let me know. It was a thing. I had a butler, y'all. I had a butler, his name was Jose, he was wonderful. And I told him he was wonderful, I gave him a nice tip and he said, please go to Expedia, use my name, tag the, the uh, venue and write it a, a thank you, put my name in there. You know, they get credit for that. So I came home and I didn't do it. I didn't do it, I didn't do it, feeling guilty or whatever. And I was like, oh, I gotta get this out of my head. So I'm like, I didn't wanna write, it just, I just didn't have it in me to write a review. So I went to Jasper and I put, write a review about the name of the, uh, the, name of the venue and how good Jose and his last name was as a butler. In, 14 seconds, I had two paragraphs that actually cited that venue and talked about the wonderful things there and thanked Jose and I put it in the review. That's it. That was more than just the time it would take to do it. That was checking something off my tech to-do list and moving on with my life. So as you're thinking of these things, think of them as your junior copywriters and your framers, but also know this is here to stay. And those of us who can start using these and, and making use of them are gonna benefit over all the other people who don't know about them yet. And PS, your members need to know, your members need to know. So get them educated on these two things. Uh, oh, that's funny. Ellen just pointed out that this AI is the opposite of be real. The authenticity is gone, hmm, bingo but it makes a very good Christmas poem. That's all I can say. What is a passkey? You need to know about these things. Apple in its latest update, put the passkey on its phone, getting it started. You are going to be able to use these instead of passwords. Like I said, there are not very many of them who are accepting this yet, but they all Passkeys are a joint initiative, let me grow that a little bit, of Apple, Google, Microsoft to make authentication better. 
and it is going to happen. It's probably going to take at least five years. We've been saying pass keys are going to go away in five years for about 20 years, but they haven't. So I think in five years or so when we do it easily create and use your pass keys with your uh with the other security methods touch id face id or windows hello all these things that are built into your phone that we've all gotten used to using and it's a different thing than having to remember a password that is the next that is another piece of technology that i need you to understand Let's go and get, I've got two more and I've got eight minutes. Y'all, did this go fast? It's going very fast. Canva is on the list because Canva is going crazy. I don't know what happened in their world, but Canva Create 2022, I actually watched it live, announced all kinds of amazing stuff. Let me bump that up a little bit. Canva now has documents just like Microsoft Word and Google. Canva now will help you create a website, a website, y'all, an entire website, one page websites. Canva has whiteboards that you can share, videos. You can, you see this video right here, this cute little thing. All right. And how about this one? Wait, let me do. And then, wow. now you see how in all those, I have taken away the background. Canva now lets you upload a uh, video. I think it's in the paid ones. Um, it lets you upload video, click and remove the background in the videos. So you've got your um, chamber president, you've got your board of directors president uh, making a speech about what's coming in the new year. You can erase the background and then put, just have him and have her over, you know, uh, an agenda or something. Free, or it may not be free, it may be in the advanced one, but it's one click video background removing. They have print products and they've got a wider variety. I've ordered things off them because it's so easy and they do it on purpose. And they have presentations. Not only do they have presentations, but y'all, this is one. I gave you the link to this one. This was artificial intelligence. Their presentations can be turned into like little flip books like this and presented live. Um, I made this for uh, so a the first thing I'm going to do is a hands on video class. And you can see I've got uh, videos embedded in there. And this is very quick, very easy. And Canva just went crazy. Why? Because they're competing now with Microsoft. They want to compete with Microsoft. This is a trend for 2022 that we've seen. Zoom is doing the same kind of thing. If you look here, Zoom mail and calendar. So Zoom is calling it Zoom one with virtual meetings, phone, uh, conversation intelligence, so it's analyzing conversations, team chat, whiteboard, email, and calendar. What's it trying to do? Compete with the big ones. Um, by the way, who all is going to sign up for a demo and give Growth uh, Zone a try? I hope y'all are, because she just put the information in there. We have five minutes left. If you have questions, I think I'm catching them as they go, but put them on all caps on the side so that I can see it. Oh, someone says, let's hope Adobe doesn't do it, uh, doesn't buy them out. I think they are head to head with Adobe right now. Microsoft is getting into Canvas space. What is this happening? This is in beta. I'm not even, I'm still on the wait list. My Microsoft designer, because Microsoft bought, invested in OpenAI, which is the GPT-3 thing. There's, there's no test with all the vocabulary, but Microsoft pretty much purchased kind of open AI. So they are using open AI uh, text and video and, and picture generation stuff to let you, I'll show you.
Uh, yep, there it is. It is using all of those different tools and bringing them together. Uh, let's see. If y'all have more questions, please email me or email Amy. She'll get the questions to me. Beth at your nerdy best friend.com. We're down to three minutes and I have one more category to go. It is the category of apps to replace them all. So we saw that Microsoft is competing with Canva. Canva is repeating, competing with Microsoft. Zoom is competing with Microsoft. All of these things are adding more features and there's a whole concept of that happening. ClickUp is one of the companies that's doing it. Tasks, docs, chat, goals, project management, meeting, and more. Just like, you know, Growth Zone kind of manages all these areas, these tools are starting to manage all these areas. And this has become so popular, this kind of conglomeration stuff, that Dropbox has added a whole bunch of features. Now with Dropbox, you can do screen captures, you can edit PDFs, all kinds of things. And Google, so have you ever done this? You go uh, doc.new and you get a new Google document, just like that. But in Google Documents now, when I type uh, Shift A, it gives you a drop down because it is putting the same kind of features that ClickUp, that all these kind of multi tool tools have, they're putting it into here and so is Microsoft. So now I can tag people in, in documents. I can add meeting note templates immediately, a product roadmap template immediately. I can integrate uh, spreadsheets immediately and other documents. All these things are instant, like here is growth zones meeting right so i can also insert meeting notes it's all here it's all tied together now it's all coming together so if i can come back to here we are at the top of the hour i thank y'all so much i encourage you i really do i wouldn't work with growth zone if i didn't believe in their products so please please give them a try and uh, we are giving away, I'll go ahead and do it, five books. Amy, please choose them. I got it. All right, we'll do five books. I thank you all so much. And uh, please download the handouts. And until next time, nerd on. Thank you, Beth. Great job. Have a great day, everyone.